Hi everybody, this is Suzanne Hyron from Memmi Papyrus. This week I want to talk to you about photopolymer stamps. These are one of two types of stamps that Stampin' Up! offers and there's a lot of advantages to polymer stamps. So this week I'd like to give you a couple of tips first on how to prepare them to avoid or delay staining and the other one just to get yourself well aligned when you do two-step stamping. Let's get started. There's a couple of things we need to know when we get a photopolymer stamp set as opposed to the red rubber stamp set. They are just as lovely, no doubt about it. However, they tend to stain a little bit. So to prevent the staining or to postpone the staining, I like to rub a little bit of Versamark on my stamp before I use it. So that will kind of condition the stamp and I'll use a block here and I'll just get some Versamark on my stamp. So, and I leave it on, I don't clean it so that when I apply the regular classic ink, it still gives you a really nice impression, but it will not stain as much as if you don't put the Versamark first. So that's one little tip I wanted to tell you about. The other one is about marking your, the top of your stamp. So you recognize which side is up when you do two step stamping. So for example, we have the butterfly wings. It may not be as obvious um, for these particular stamps. In flowers, it's really, really helpful. But what I like to do, I know this is going to be the top of my butterfly. So on this side of the stamp that will not touch the ink, I just put a little tick mark and a little arrow to indicate the side that it should go on. So when I get to my two-step stamping, I'll know that this is the top of the butterfly and the other stamp will be the bottom. And it will remain on there because Really, when you clean, you're going to clean the part that touched the ink. So you won't remove that little tick mark. So let's do it on this one as well. This is going to be the bottom. So I'm going to put my arrow on the other side to indicate this is the bottom. And when I stamp it on the other side, I'll see the arrow, but it won't get removed when I clean my stamp. I hope these little tips are helpful to you and uh, that's it for this week. We'll see you next week. Thanks for sharing your time with me.